Hey guys, I am Agnes. Uh, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to paint on bow. Uh, the reason why I chose this subject is because it's Christmas time and I just opened my uh, box full of uh, Christmas decorations and uh, I love Christmas. I love really, I really love everything about it. And I found in the box uh, uh, these uh, very cute bows. I basically I threw it everywhere on the tree. I will use this bow for the for the shape and uh, the and the shadows, but I will use uh, um, this ribbon for uh, inspiration uh, for the colors. It's a really simple form, so you should just uh, draw the the um, the outlines of it and then um, fill it with colors. If you are a beginner, I would recommend you to uh, just check out some uh, photos on the on the internet and uh, use them uh, um, as inspiration. If you want to try to paint it with me, uh, you will need a cardboard or a, a, some canvas pad or stretch canvas. Uh, myself, I will use this uh, uh, canvas board. Uh, so basically, it's a cardboard uh, covered with canvas and it's uh, um, primed. Uh, it's um, 18 per 24 centimeters, uh, but you can use a uh, Heavier paper, uh, a pencil to, to put on the sketch, some brushes. Um, I like these plain brush brushes. So I will do this video with acrylic. If you are uh, familiar with oil, you can uh, use that too. Um, so basically, we will need three colors black, white, and red. Um, what do I use? I use my Marie. Uh, because that's why I that's what I can uh, find here easily. Um, this is a titanium white. Then I use uh, a black, basic black, and I use uh, permanent alizarium crimson, and that's it. We will mix them and. Uh, and uh, in the video you will see that I put also this uh, other red, it's a transparent red, um, it, um, it wouldn't be necessary, I just use it because I have uh, uh, not much of the, of the permanent alizarin crimson, so uh, I need some substitution. Okay, so let's start it. So I will start my pre-video painting uh, by uh, sketching up the bow. Um, I don't worry actually much about the outcome. I uh, don't try to draw the shape uh, too scrupulously. After finishing the, sh the sketch, uh, we will paint over it so it won't be seen. We can also correct the form during the painting process. So what we need here is a totally imperfect and very basic bow shape. If you don't have basic drawing skills, don't worry. In that case, I would recommend to print out some photos of your bow, cut it out and use it as a stencil to draw the outlines. The only thing I pay attention to is to not draw the lines too strongly. I just need some subtle guidelines here for myself. At this point on the video you can't see much, but I swear it's there. Um, I use uh, an uh, HB uh, pencil, um, it's uh, basically indifferent um, what kind of pencil you use. Uh, I don't correct it with a rubber because uh, it will uh, leave a mark on, the, on my canvas board. Um, yeah. So when I want to correct something, I just uh, go over it, I use uh, fine lines uh, and um, I uh, don't try to, to make it look like a bow, I just uh, put down uh, the basic shapes, the shapes of the, of the shadows and, uh, and the basic lines. Maybe now you can uh, see a little bit uh, that the, the bow is uh, uh, taking uh, shape, um, yeah. <laughs> just kind of relaxing and enjoying the process uh, I uh, could have uh, speed it up but I didn't want to because uh, 
uh, I wanted to to show you how much time um, uh, um, painting like this uh, takes. It's uh, more or less a half an hour video, so you can uh, see the, what what uh, um, what can be done in a, in a, in a half an hour or in 40 minutes uh, with preparation and and uh, cleaning. Um, so I won't uh, take uh, much time uh, uh, with the sketch, uh, that's enough for me, uh, let's start uh, painting. So as you see, uh, the paintbrush is already in my, ha my uh, hand and the first thing that I uh, um, take uh, on the paintbrush is a black, I uh, don't mix it. Um, there are two ways to do this, um, I mean uh, more or less realistic painting. Um, you can go from the dark or you can go from the uh, white. Uh, I uh, always go from the darkest because uh, um, as you see I already, I've already put, put some, uh, some uh, black in the shadow areas and uh, this way um, I, I always know where am I um, it makes uh, things clearer and then I can just smooth them down uh, by uh, adding uh, lighter colors then I um, mixed a little bit of uh, uh, Elizabeth Crimson with uh, the black so I got this uh, Bordeauxish uh, dark red color I uh, just put it uh, next uh, to my uh, my uh, black of the shadow and then I uh, wash my brush and uh, I uh, take some uh, um, clear Elizabeth crimson and I just put a little bit of it next to him uh, next to next to the the dark red the mixed uh, uh, red. Then I uh, take a little bit of um, primary red, I mean transparent red, and uh, I put a little bit down. So that's how we go with this um, with this uh, bow. Uh, we don't see the the shape. Uh, we don't we don't uh, um, worry about the shape. We don't worry uh, about uh, that it uh, should be pink. Uh, that it. Uh, um, uh, how it should be, we just put down um, um, colors one next to the other one. As you see, I cut out some uh, um, um, some uh, uh, paintbrush cleaning, but uh, yeah, in uh, in theory, it uh, should have been uh, cleared after every color, or I uh, I uh, should have used an other um, brush for every color but uh, since I also want to enjoy this painting uh, I, uh, I make I do it a little bit uh, um, my way and uh, I uh, sometimes I just don't wash the, the paintbrush after one color and I, I go in the next one uh, there is a risk in it that the colors will be uh, muddy um, so uh, yeah, I should I should pay more attention uh, to it because uh, it seems that you um, 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 that you you uh, gain uh, a time, but not uh, mix not, not always washing the brushes, but uh, at the at the long run uh, your results won't uh, be uh, so clear and uh, and uh, the colors can can uh, just uh, turn down a little bit. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't think that uh, muddy colors don't have uh, uh, their place because I think that in the shadows, in the in the um, yeah, in the shadow areas, uh, there are also some. Uh, there is also some muddiness, uh, and it makes vibrate the the clear colors more. But uh, mm, yeah, uh, <laughs> after, for example, um, with uh, with. with black and white you should pay attention if you if you uh, mm, 
I I usually I use uh, another uh, a separate uh, um, water can only only uh, for the colors that I I wash from the brush brush um, where I use some white. Mm, yeah. So as you see, uh, now I started to put down uh, also some. Uh, uh, some pink, uh, pink uh, um, colors, some pink shadows. As you can see, I uh, put down this uh, um, primary red and next to it I put some uh, uh, lighter pink and then lighter pink and then more uh, white and more white so uh, when I just add white to the to the color I, I don't wash it and um, mm, there are many people who just uh, uh, mix all the colors uh, um, right beforehand uh, at the start they they have like 10 colors mix and they just use those um, maybe it's better maybe not i don't know i uh, um I, I i enjoy it more more this way but um it's just my opinion uh, so i just add white and white and white and then i arrive to the to the um, to the clearest areas to the to the light reflexive. Another thing that if you uh, look at my uh, um, my uh, painting uh, at this moment, it doesn't seem anything. It seems a mess, and uh, it can uh, it can uh, um, be confusing uh, during painting. Uh, most of the time it will be like this and you should cope with the fact that uh, you don't know if 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 uh, if what you are painting will get together at the end because the the realistic effect will uh, come along only at the end only only when every uh, part of the painting is covered when the black are there when the blacks are there when the whites are there where uh, well, um, because because the trick is made by every element of the of the of the piece, so um, it can lead you to want to start to correct it and make it more uh, look alike. Uh, and um, if uh, I will, I will, uh, um, I will show you in this video that it it even intrigued me after so many years of painting also in this video I, I went to that uh, um, loophole and I, I um, started to correct one part and then it uh, um, kicked the back and then it, it uh, um, there is there is a little bit of a little mistake in my painting in fact um, only that um, since it's realistic style we can we can say that um, it's um, it's it, it, it has uh, so many rules, uh, but uh, it at the end of the day it's art. So I think that mistakes uh, have uh, always a place <laughs> in in the art making process. Um, so I just left it like that. I, I won't like throw it away because and now at this point you can see that I am mixing that uh, uh, red uh, reddish um, uh, grayish color that is really close to be mud so if I would just go with another color it would be total mess um, so and I am and I am doing it we will see okay so as you can see um, the the shadows of uh, one part of the bow have a totally different color than other parts of it uh, so it doesn't mean that ah, okay I found a shadow color and I put it everywhere um, 
in realistic style it's really every part of the of the painting every every, every part of the object uh, that you are painting uh, you should consider as a as a different color and you should uh, um, you should ask uh, uh, about it you should uh, find it uh, um, separately um, Sorry about my English, it's not, it's not uh, perfect. Um, while we are painting this, this, this super cute pink bow, I uh, tell you a little bit about myself. So I am a Hungarian and there is Hungarian language, my mother tongue is Hungarian. Um, and uh, uh, I live in Italy, so most of the time uh, here I speak uh, Italian. Um, I, I, I love uh, languages, I uh, also speak uh, French and uh, yeah, you can, uh, you can uh, see my English, you can hear my English. Um, I started to paint uh, at elementary school, I think, I was uh, painting uh, my, uh, and, and drawing my, my uh, whole, during my whole childhood. Um, I, uh, I, I uh, went to law school and after finishing law school I started to concentrate a little bit more on uh, painting. Um, that's when I uh, started to, uh, um, to find out about uh, the realistic style. I, uh, I learned so uh, much uh, uh, about it uh, from the internet, the, the, the uh, YouTube channels and uh, um, I went on to also to art school, but it was uh, mostly graphic design and uh, um, and uh, drawing uh, courses. Um, I had some painting classes, but uh, yeah, um, in this this level, I started to painting maybe six or s six years ago um, in this style. Um, what else? As you can see now, I am uh, putting uh, down these very subtle pink uh, shades uh, and uh, colors. It's it's almost uh, white, and uh, it gives uh, the painting this uh, this cuteness factor, this uh, candiness. Um, so I'm Hungarian, I live in Italy, I like uh, painting, uh, I like music. Um, I chose, I also chose, uh, yeah, one reason why I chose the bow is because of, uh, uh, because it's, I find it's festive and Christmassy and, and uh, it, it, it does a uh, celebration. And the other, uh, the other thing about bows in Italy, uh, that they, um, in fact, uh, they use uh, uh, pink and blue, bl blue bows uh, uh, when when there is a newborn uh, child, uh, and they take it, uh, they take the child uh, home from the hospital. Uh, they put uh, these uh, these uh, pink or blue blue uh, bows on the on the doors, so uh, they tell uh, to the world this way uh, that the that the child is born and and uh, if it's a boy and a girl. It's uh, such a cute uh, tradition. So at this point, you can see that uh, one uh, uh, half of the of the um, uh, of the upper part of the bow is almost almost uh, realistic. It's almost it's it's kind of uh, starting to to take. Uh, um, this is shape, it's shape. So I just go ahead in the middle part, I put some uh, subtle roses and uh, just color after color. Sorry, sometimes my hand is totally uh, covering the picture, but I couldn't uh, um, arrange it. Uh, in another way.
So if you see, there are many rules to follow, but once you learn these uh, rules, um, it's not so uh, difficult, it's uh, kind of clear what to do, it's like a puzzle. Um, so you go from dark, or from white, but uh, in this video we go from dark, and uh, just uh, put a little bit lighter color, uh, put the... Put the, um, the the colors down one next to each other don't blend them um, too much uh, and uh, um, uh, with time you will you will start to see better these uh, subtle forms uh, you will start to um, um, to see the colors differently you will see more colors um, and yes, this point when I am making a huge mistake because I was uh, sec second guessing my uh, uh, my uh, choice, and I thought that uh, the pink wasn't kind of uh, um, um, enough, so I uh, I put an, another one uh, darker and more intense in pink, and this kind of popping uh, up, uh, so it, it kind of uh, ruins the 3D effect, and uh, now I'm trying to fix it by putting other uh, uh, pinks down. Uh, so if you want to um, correct um, uh, your um, uh, your uh, painting, maybe it's better if you before you just uh, finish it kind of, and uh, and then you correct it later if uh, if it's needed because uh, um, uh, because maybe at the at the in the middle of the painting one color seems like uh, um, not not so uh, intense or or uh, kind of uh, colorless uh, but then when you put everything down uh, e the other colors make them uh, vibrate but uh, uh, I just uh, don't uh, worry so much about that, it shouldn't be perfect and it's not a commission, so for the moment I will just leave it there, leave it like this and uh, later uh, we will see um, if, it, uh, if it, it works with the final, uh, final version. It's kind of like uh, composing music, um, uh, there are the separate notes, uh, and then uh, it uh, it comes together when everything is uh, is um, is in it. So I just putting down one color next to the other one. Uh, I am just focusing on every uh, separate idea. When I kind of get bored with one part, I just switch to another other idea. Sometimes I uh, uh, res recycle uh, my colors on the palette. Uh, it's risky because um, mm, because uh, you you put a color an already mixed you mix a color for one area, then you find out the, uh, that in another area there is uh, more or less the same color. So you have two choices: or you put that down, uh, or you you mix it. Uh, again so uh, just be uh, um, be very um, um, aware of what are you uh, what are you doing uh, if it, it, it seems really the same one you can put it down but just don't do that mistakes that you uh, see that uh, oh, okay this boy is kind of uh, uh, pinky so you put the same pink uh, on every uh, pinkish area because it will just kill that 3d effect you should really concentrate on every area differently with fresh eyes uh, what color is this and uh, find that color and mix that color and then go to another area even if it seems perfectly the same So when you are tired, just make some pause, just uh, uh, make a cup of tea, or uh, you know, I uh, usually I listen to music when I when I make these paintings. And now I was uh, um, listening to Christmas music or some meditative thing, um, classical music. I love to paint uh, by listening to classical music. Or just in silence with your own thoughts.
you know I already I already I almost finished the upper part of the bow I will put in some uh, uh, subtle uh, shadows and then I will go to the to the um, to the other half I will uh, um, So you can see that, for example, these subtle grey shadows, we find it only on the left part. Sorry about my hand, <laughs> it covers everything. As you can see, as palette, I use just a piece of uh, um, paper. It's a cardboard, a laminated cardboard, so it, uh, it, um, doesn't get washed. Um, I uh, find it very, um, uh, very comfortable because I can just uh, throw it away at the end, uh, so I don't have to clean it. Um, but you can, you can also use a, a piece of a, a glass uh, or a, or a regular palette, uh, a wood palette, or a plastic palette. If you are a beginner, I think that uh, it's important to to um, uh, know that it's uh, mm, it you can uh, do almost everything with the cheaper or uh, um, uh, um, the the less uh, um, professional materials as uh, such as uh, uh, paint paints and uh, brushes. Um, of course, it's better to use uh, high quality, but um, if you are uh, only a beginner, it's not that you should go to the uh, store and spend uh, uh, hundreds uh, uh, for um, uh, for um, um, for professional products. It's just uh, they make your work uh, easier at the long run. Um, for example, uh, uh, the cheaper or uh, less uh, professional brushes can uh, lose. Uh, uh, pieces or it can um, just stick into the painting and, uh, and um, um, color colors for uh, for um, beginners or or, or for um, children maybe uh, they don't have so much pigment in it so uh, um, you can compensate it by a technique I think you can really compensate it to a very high level with with your technique but uh, uh, your um, your uh, work working process will be less uh, stressful with a uh, higher quality product. So now, yeah, now I am mixing these uh, these uh, subtle pinks for the um, the, um, the endings <laughs> of the bow. Um, in this area, uh, the shadow, the the the, um, the areas made of one color are bigger, so I can go um, faster. Yeah, it's getting its shape, it's, it starts uh, to being uh, cuter and cuter. So don't give up, don't give up. Now you can see that uh, um, when I put down the, the pinks, the dark areas, the the, the blacks and the uh, reds, uh, star are starting to be less intense. Uh, um, so that's how um, little by little everything is uh, 
coming together. The other thing is that uh, it's good to uh, uh, once in a while uh, take a look at your work from far or maybe take a photo and just uh, um, take a look at your photo um, because uh, um, usually from, uh, from a very small distance it uh, seems to uh, just uh, don't uh, make sense and when uh, you have a um, you have a perspective when when you look at it from a bigger distance uh, it seems uh, much more realistic it can also happen if you if you uh, did things right then you just take a photo and uh, when you are just scrolling uh, uh, in your phone for a moment you can't uh, say if uh, it's uh, the object or if it's the photo also it can happen that uh, uh, people will see your pictures and uh, from your paintings and uh, they will just uh, think that it's a photo so maybe sometimes you should just uh, write it down that uh, I made this painting pretty awesome So now I'm uh, uh, covering, up, covering up this, uh, this uh, shadow because uh, when I was ready with the other uh, part uh, I understood that it's, it's um, not in the right place so now I'm color covering it a little bit I put down some uh, white and, uh, and I'm, I will just uh, um, do it again didn't like it that much uh, it's better if after um, covering it with white so you should you have two choices or you leave it uh, to dry and you may remake it from uh, from um, scratch um, what I am doing now is I go directly in it with a dark color to put down the shadow but it's very risky because if I am not uh, precise enough um, then it will be a big mess so I have just one shot one uh, throw and uh, then the darker will mix with the lighter so it will make this um, this um, um, transition effect then I kind of push the white in the in the dark so I can uh, correct the shape I can give some uh, light some three dimension now I am really at the final touches here and I don't want to overdo it so I will just put down some uh, some um, some uh, reflections some lights I will just darken some areas uh, to make a depth um, of the of the painting and then I will just leave it like that you don't want to overdo your painting so maybe at this point just just take a moment uh, uh, take a look from a little bit of distance, make a photo and then, uh, you know, <laughs> it's easy to ruin it with the last show. Yeah, maybe a little bit, a little bit of white in it. In uh, in um, uh, watercolor painting, uh, the white areas we just leave white because uh, it uh, it um, 
it's reasonable uh, with oil in oil and uh, acrylic we just uh, cover everything uh, um, in this painting I will just leave uh, the background white I think it's cute enough. A little bit of red. And we sign it and that's it. Voila! This is my final painting, so cute, I love it. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hope to see you again. Thank you, bye bye.